these are troubling times for veterans who served in Iraq and for families who lost loved ones to the war. WMTW News 8's Allie Miles spoke with a woman from Old Orchard Beach whose son died while serving in Iraq back in 2004. She joins us now live in South Portland. Allie? Yeah, Steve, forever grateful. That's how this plaque describes what has happened to thousands of people who have given the ultimate sacrifice. They say they are forever grateful. And that's how this mom described her situation, where she is so grateful for her son and the thousands of others who have given their life in the line of duty. Here's his two boys at the age when he passed. It's been 10 years since Nancy Lee Kelly has spoken to her son Christopher, but he's on her mind every single day. To think back that it's, he's gone 10 years, is, it is impossible to imagine. Um, I still feel like Christopher's going to walk through the front door with his smile. Captain Christopher Cash was in charge of 130 men when they were attacked in Bakuba, Iraq. Chris died in the attack. Christopher loved his country and he loved serving and it's uh, it's just a very sad event that so many people have been lost. For years Nancy would watch the news relentlessly day and night unable to sleep. She says she's troubled by what she sees now with ISIS, a militant group taking cities by force. There's unrest, but there has been unrest over there for centuries so it doesn't surprise me I, I just have a deep faith that this will be resolved but she still has enormous pride in what Christopher and thousands of others have done by giving the ultimate sacrifice it's part of the reason Nancy and her husband Bob started the run for cash 5k now it's in its 10th year the race has given more than thirty four thousand dollars in college scholarships to students Nancy says Chris was more than just a captain. He was an athlete, a father, and a very proud American. If he was here right today, he wouldn't, he wouldn't say anything bad. He would just be sad like me that he just couldn't fulfill his life totally. Now that race is still open. It's this Saturday, and you can head to our website, WMTW.com, for details if you're interested in running. Live from South Portland, Allie Miles, WMTW News 8.